How long can a bridge be? Try to guess, but we are sure you won't be near the bridge we will talk about today. What if a bridge uses over half a million tons of steel and takes just four years to get built? We are talking about a mega project that has broken world records. Unlike any other bridge in the world, China has engineered the longest bridge, which is no less than a miracle. But how was it built? Why did China build it in the first place? And how much did it cost? And the most interesting question, what sort of vehicles would use this bridge? Certainly there are countless questions due to the mind-boggling technology used. And that's what China is known for, making everyone stunned by showing their infrastructure and next generation technology. Hello everyone. Glad to have you back to another exciting episode of our channel. Innovation World brings you China's innovation stories and projects in different parts of the world. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about fast-paced modernity, especially China's development, you will definitely find our videos intriguing. In this video, we will look at the world's longest bridge that China has built. Let's get started. China is ruling the world when it comes to construction. Literally, within a few months, Chinese workers and engineers can raise skyscrapers and transform the appearance of even villages. That's because China puts billions of dollars into its development program and has the capacity to cross all limits. The workers and even the public work as a single mind to make China the greatest country in the world, and that's showcased in their work and construction. China has become the only country that uses about 50% of total steel and 70% of cement every year. In other words, half of the steel produced in the entire world is used by China, while more than three-fourths of cement is used in construction within China. That's what China is capable of and that's how it constructs structures that leave everyone's jaws dropped. China has countless cities with buildings where no one lives at present. The speed of construction is so fast that people take more time to buy newly built apartments. But that's not something China is satisfied with, and that's why it built the longest bridge in the world. China is building something unbelievable using the world's largest crawler crane, something that can just raise sky-touching buildings and the world's most powerful concrete truck. But the phenomenal price of the massive machine is the SLJ 900-32 that literally pumps out bridges. You just have to switch it on, and it will start constructing the bridge for as long as it has the power. And this gigantic bridge-building machine has constructed the monumental Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge. Before we continue further, tell us, are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos about China's development, power, and influence on the world. Let's continue now. But what does this bridge look like, and how is it the longest one in the world? The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge has a place in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the longest bridge in the world. It has a length of over 164.8 kilometers, making 102.4 miles, and is used by a high-speed passenger train. The bridge is basically situated in Jiangsu province of China and connects major cities in this province. With such a large bridge, the train can take passengers to Nanjing and Shanghai, connecting the two distant cities. Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is a wonder because it runs almost parallel to the massive Chinese Yangtze River. Since the bridge is so long, it passes from various habitats like farms, rice paddies, over busy canals and rivers, around the hills and finally reaches the city. Chinese engineers had to consider modeling the bridge due to its long length. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge could not be made as a single bridge supported by tons of steel and iron strings. No engineering could hold such a long bridge without any support from the land. Therefore, the Chinese engineers decided to use the simplest modeling. They used over 9,500 pillars that carry the 102.4 kilometers bridge throughout its length. Dunyang Kunshan Grand Bridge was built to connect Nanjing and Shanghai and the populated regions like Kunshan, Suzhou, Wuxi, Changzhou, and eventually Danyang. When the construction of the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge reached Suzhou, the engineers had to think about the biggest hurdle ahead, the Yangcheng Lake. The bridge had to go over a nine kilometer long lake, which was a tricky task. Only pillars couldn't be used to support the bridge. Therefore, engineers had to use gigantic steel cables and 2000 pillars for this specific lake. Not only that, a very precise naval ballet of barges and submarine technology had to be used to complete the construction over the lake. But how reliable the longest bridge is and what did it cost? According to the reports, the bridge can tolerate an earthquake of eight magnitude and severe weather challenges. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge was a mega project that couldn't be taken so lightly. 
The Chinese engineers had to ensure that the bridge stayed functional for decades to come and was used by high-speed trains to transport thousands of passengers every day. Figures released by the Chinese government say that the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge cost $8.5 billion. The Chinese government didn't use these funds today. They were paid 11 years back because the construction of the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge was completed in 2011. Comparing this cost with today's value, it will be more than double what was paid in 2011. And it doesn't mean China had to make a one payment and get a bridge forever. Since the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is built over the Yangtze River with soft ground soil, the bridge needs continuous maintenance throughout the year. Every time the construction company had to stay vigilant to reconstruct or repair the parts of the bridge that were wearing out, and it comes at an additional cost, pushing the total price further. But the bridge is a blessing for the passengers using it. It has cut the time by half and squeezed the distance for the passengers. They no longer have to rely on roads and their cars to move within the province. The high-speed train running over 300 kilometers per hour can take them anywhere they want. Earlier, it took about 4.5 hours from Ningbo to Jiaxing using public transport. Now, after the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, passengers can reach Jiaxing within two hours. And don't forget the material used in the construction of the bridge. Over 500,000 tons of steel and 2.5 million cubic meters of concrete were used to construct such a marvelous bridge. Over 10,000 workers were employed for over four years to build this longest bridge finally. Since the bridge is over 100 miles long, it could never be straight at any cost. Therefore, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge takes circular rounds and turns to reach the destination ultimately. It's quite surprising that China did such a feat just to facilitate the local passengers. Over $8.5 billion were used just to reduce the time the passengers earlier needed to travel within the Jiangsu province. When the bridge construction started, the world speculated that China was building it to facilitate goods transport to increase the revenue it generated. But China proved all of them wrong by constructing a bridge solely used by high-speed trains. By spending over $8.5 billion, using half a million steel and taking over four years, China has proved that it's a country that is thinking about the future. It completed construction in 2011, when even the high-speed train was a new concept for the world. What do you think? Can any other country break this longest bridge record in the future? For almost 11 years, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge has been in the Guinness Book of World Records. Comment right below in the comment section. Do you consider Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge a single long bridge or a bridge with countless smaller parts? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, then please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing. Until the next video, stay tuned.